What's up YouTube? This is Dan the Fix-It Man. Got another quick video here for you. I'm going to show you how to change your rear brake shoes on a 2005 Toyota Matrix. As you can see, these are drum brakes. And the first thing you want to do is lift the vehicle, take the tire off, and just support it properly. I've got a jack stand under there and the, the jack as well. And uh, block your tires. Um, I don't usually film me doing those things because uh, if you can't do that, you probably shouldn't be doing your brakes. But uh, anyways, uh, you also want to make sure that your parking brake is off or you will not be able to get your brake drum off. Um, this one is stuck on there though pretty good and it doesn't want to come off. So uh, one of the things you'll notice uh, on a lot of cars now, they're, they've got a couple threaded holes in the drum itself and you just need to find a couple bolts that match up to those threads. Um, these are these bolts, I don't know what size, they're probably metric, but the, the diameter is about 5 16 and uh, it's a coarse thread, but I, like I said, I don't know exactly the, the size, uh, but you just kind of thread those in there and then you crank on them uh, little by little and you'll hear it kind of creak and pop there. And what it's doing is it's using the face where the bolt itself is prying against the face of the hub and that will pull that drum off kind of like a little press there it goes okay so we got the brake drum off and uh, the brake drum itself it's pretty grooved, even though these uh, this pad material on the brake shoe is still still in pretty. You know, it's not completely gone, is what I'm getting at. So it's not gone metal to metal, but it's definitely definitely worn down enough to where we're going to change those out. I'm going to talk to the uh, the owner and see if he wants to get some brake drums for this as well. Uh, you can see there's a few springs here that we need to take off, and so we've got the the hold down springs here we've got a spring at the bottom and then two springs up here at the top one of them is uh, hooked onto this adjuster tab that's on this little pin on the top of that shoe and that uh, that keeps our brakes adjusted right here and then the other one just uh, keeps the shoes together and uh, pulls them back after the wheel cylinder pushes them apart so you can you can do this with a few different types of tools um, it's nice if you have the proper tool for these hold down springs. Uh, this is one option here, but uh, I guess I'll do these first. You just push down on that and turn in a quarter turn, and that'll that'll come off. You can see there's a little there's a little groove in the uh, the little retainer piece. It's like a like a little washer, and then that goes over that spring, and then the little the little uh, stud that comes through the back has a flat end and you just push that through and turn it. So we'll do the same thing on this side. Push and turn and those will come off. So you can you can use some diagonals which grab pretty nicely to this these springs. You can use some little needle nose vice grips. Those will work out just fine too. Um, if you've seen some of my other brake videos I like to use this little tool which has a little uh, notch into this uh, in this end piece with a threaded rod which when you when you turn that it actually clamps down on that spring pretty nicely so you kinda just grab onto that spring and twist that down and that allows you to get a little bit more leverage when pulling those springs so we'll do this we'll do this first one here and so you just pull that back and off and you can see that it has a little uh, piece right there a little cam that goes onto that end so we'll keep track of that one and we can set that down. Actually, before I take that spring off, I think I'm just going to pull this apart and just see if I can get that get that to come across here. Yep, there we go. So here's the uh, the center piece, which is like a, a little spreader. And so as that spins out, that that keeps your brakes adjusted. And we'll clean that up before we put it back in. And just remember the orientation that it went in. This has a uh, a larger notch here uh, that went in the back and then that smaller notch goes in the front and that actually hooks into that little uh, that little adjustment arm or tab thing. I'll set that down and that little 
tab comes off it sits on that little stud up there we'll set that down and we still have the springs connected on the bottom there and this one here now will just basically fall apart fall out so there's that spring which goes on the back and then at the bottom here you can see we've got our little spring which will just come right off and uh, now we just got to take off our emergency brake cable sometimes you can do this without pulling that cable you can just do it right here but I think it's a little bit easier to um, hopefully you can still see that I think it's easier to do this over on a on the uh, workbench so what I'll do is uh, just use some diagonals on this cable and just pull that back pull it out let go and then we're gonna take this uh, over to the to the vise or to the bench and uh, this is a little horseshoe clip we can tap that out and put it on the new one okay so I've got this in the vise just so it's uh, held in place and uh, a lot of times I'll just grab a couple different sizes of screw screwdrivers and just tap in between this little uh, horseshoe clip the idea is we want to open that up just enough so that we can uh, we can pry it out and sometimes if you tap on it this direction you can get it to uh, get it to open right up once you get it far enough and you've got a gap in the back you can usually just uh, fit a small bladed screwdriver in there and just uh, work it outward just be careful or or the uh, if you're not careful it'll just uh, pop off and fly somewhere and uh, some kits come with replacement uh, clips this one did not so we're gonna have to put that back on and reuse that same piece so we'll take out the old shoe okay so we're gonna put that arm back on like so and again we have to reuse that uh, little horseshoe clip but if we can get it on there and just get it started and that's around there we just need to close that up there it goes Okay, so <laughs> not the smoothest way, but that's on and ready to go back in. We've got the arm on here. We just need to install this parking brake cable. And uh, it's got this little spring sleeve over it. And if you just pull back just a little bit with some diagonals, you can just put that together just like that. And then uh, kind of want to make note behind the hub here, there's a little... Um, a little groove. I guess I'll show it to you. Right there. Um, see this little groove, little channel? That's where that cable needs to sit. So you just, when you're putting this back together, you just want to just take note to what's going on behind there and make sure that you get it lined up properly. Okay, so I got the cable back on to this shoe here. And this spring is kind of tricky because it doesn't have your typical hooks. So this goes into that second hole on either shoe. And it's almost easier to put that in first and then come around and just be careful. You don't want to push on that uh, wheel cylinder. But if you can get it up and over the hub and pretty much lined up, well, there we go. That's what we want to do get that in place and you know I guess I could have put on this bottom spring first before I pulled those in uh, let me see if I can do that so if you hook the bottom spring too here at the same time you can usually get that on too sometimes it'll pop off but There we go. 
and you just want to be careful on that wheel cylinder. Don't uh, push on one side without pushing on the other or supporting the other because it'll uh, it'll pull that out or uh, it'll blow out your wheel cylinder. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put on the hold down springs here. And those you just line up and push that on and turn it. There we go. That's that side. We'll do the same thing over here. You want to make sure that your, uh, your brake shoe goes into that notch on the wheel cylinder. And uh, just line these up here. Push and turn, a quarter turn. Okay, that's on. That's in place. Now we've got two parts we need to squeeze into there. So we've got the uh, this little threaded rod that I uh, I've cleaned it up and put some grease in there. We need to get that in there, and then we also need to get our little uh, adjustment arm. And this, those are sometimes tricky, but that's in. Okay, so the arm is in place, and then we know that this side goes over here just like that and sometimes we can just use a screwdriver or something to pry this one in again anytime you're pulling these out like this you want to just make sure that you're not uh, not going to blow out that wheel cylinder okay so that's on and in place just make sure everything's centered uh, when you're doing the bottom here you want to make sure that the the brake shoes are all the way in on that a uh, little ledge so that uh, they're not going to pop off on you. And then the last spring we need to put on is this one here. And uh, I don't know exactly what this little thing is. It's like a little cam. But uh, but it's there, so we'll, we'll put it back on. And uh, this one just hooks on to the edge of that adjustment tab. And so I'm going to clamp this tool down here, pull that, and hook it on. And uh, there we go. So everything's back together. Now uh, this drum, oh, I still need to pull those bolts out. But this drum's got a lot of grooves in it for some reason. Uh, you know, the old, the old shoes were not completely worn down. They were very worn down, but uh, there might have been some imperfections in that material that caused that. Okay, to put the drum back on, it's uh, pretty simple. And again, I'm actually waiting on new drums um, that are going to be delivered, but just to show you how to adjust these, I'm just gonna throw this one back on. And um, <clears throat> if you reach back behind the drum, let me see if I can show you here filming it and showing it at the same time. There's a little little rubber plug like this right here and that comes out and then you can reach through the back with either a flathead screwdriver or uh, I've got this little brake adjuster tool and you can just click that star wheel just a few clicks at a time just like that, there it is. And the whole point of that is so that you can get this brake drum tightened up. I like to tighten that enough to where <clears throat> with the tire back on the vehicle, you can spin this as hard, you push it really hard and it should only spin two full revolutions. That's kind of the measurement I've always used. I don't know. Uh, where I first heard that, I think from my auto shop teacher, Mr. Lear, many, many years ago. <clears throat> but uh, that seems to work just fine. And uh, again, I'm waiting for a new drum, so I'm not going to tighten this one up too much. And uh, But that's pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching, and good luck.